The first announcement is the You Pick Sunday that Shay has created, we had to keep postponing it. So You Pick Worship will be Sunday, uh, what's this day, uh, September the 22nd. Um, so You Pick Worship is there will be a list of songs on the screen. The usher will come around with a paper and pen, and you get to pick the numbers that you want, the three out of the seven choices. Once you do that, you put your name on it, you're going to put it in the basket, and the worship team is going to pick the songs of whoever name we pick out the basket. So if you don't like the worship songs, blame Matt, because that was his choice. He put it in there. So that's what we're going to do. So we're, gonna, we're just trying to do some different things here at our church, and we are so grateful for that. Um, so give it up. Yeah. Our next uh, slide. Shout out to our assistant pastor for this. Because these next two announcements are him. Shay and the band, I'm sure you will enjoy this. TG's Jersey Sunday! And Shay, you're going to stop with the drums. He's like, yeah, hurry up. We got football today. So uh, on Sunday, September the 29th at our 11 a.m. service, put that back up, Ange. You are going to wear your favorite jersey or your team colors. So don't go buy nothing new. Now, if you ain't got it, go just put a color on and, or put your TG t-shirt on to represent the team of TG. Okay, so we don't want you to get nothing, but shout out to um, our assistant pastor for this one, TG, Jersey, Sunday. Go ahead, Steve. They can't win no Dallas. Well, we, well there's going to be some furniture moving because I'm a Dallas fan. I'm a Dallas fan because I got married into the Dallas fan, and my daddy's a Dallas fan. So we're going to have some furniture moving around. I know, Shay, you still with the Packers? I slap you to sleep, too. <laughs> slap you to sleep. So, yes, he said, don't wear no Dallas stuff, but if you listen to him, he ain't the pastor. Where would you want to wear? Where would you want to wear? So we are excited about this. Our church is growing, and we just want to have fun. Listen, it's okay to be in church and shout, but it's okay to have fun, too, and laugh, because if you're not going to laugh, you're going to cry. Believe that. The next one, I'm excited about this. Um, shout out to our system pastor for this. TG Special Needs Service! Woo -woo! Listen, we are having a service. It's not just for them, it's with us. For people who are developmentally disabled, come in here, invite somebody. Listen, there could be, I, I work with them as well. Not that they're no different from anybody else. They're super special. But they have special needs. Their needs are more special than some other people. I probably need, I got some special needs myself. Uh -huh -huh. This is your last day at the church today. I hope you enjoy playing here. It's like, no. <laughs> um, so what we want to do is, you can put it back up, Ange. You can leave it for a second. Um, October the 20th is coming next month at our 11 a.m. service. We want you to invite a friend and come support our friends on their special day. We're going to have something super nice for them, highlighted for them. And we want them to understand that God created you that way. Just like he created me this way, he created you that way. And that makes you special. And we are so excited about it. So if you know somebody who has a special needs child or a special needs adult, give them a break for the day. Give them a break. Because what I've learned about being in this industry is the mothers are going to be 50, 60, 70 years old and never get a break. Unless family or friends come along. I think about them. Some of them never get married. The mother has to take. I have one now who just, they found blood on his brain, my little baby. And um, he just had surgery, but she's like, the mother is like almost 80, and she's like, I never get a break. He's in his 60s, and she said, Thumbelina, I never, ever get a break. And I, when we think of, we don't think about people like that. So, so when this comes October the 20th, I'm keep pointing to the air. When this comes out, please, please find somebody that you know. Call somebody, tell them to come, or take some time, and you bring them. Pick them up. Tell the mother to get them dressed. Come on, I'm taking it in the church with me. We can handle it. It's enough professionals up in here. We can handle it. So please, everybody come out. Shout out to our assistant pastor. Me and him have been working closely together to try to bring new things to the church. I hope you guys are excited about what's coming. Y'all excited? <laughs> Shay, please. Shay, you know what Shay told me? I'm telling on you. Shay said, please do not be long. We have football after church. Huh? I got the clock. Shay, I got like 10 minutes. 
All right, so I'm going to open up with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and your kindness and all the things that you have given unto us, oh God. God, I'm asking that the word that you have given to me, that I give it to your children exactly the way you gave it to me, oh God, and that you may use everything that you have given to me to transform a generation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. So my topic today is prepare for birth. Prepare for birth. For birth. Clap, y'all. Y'all remember I did a sermon? Terrence reminded me. I was talking to him. Y'all remember the sermon? Congratulations! You're pregnant. That was the sermon. Congratulations, you are pregnant. I told each and every person that they were um, pregnant, impregnated with a gift. With a gift that is uh, that you had to develop. And guess what? The time has come, everybody, to prepare for birth. How exciting is that? And since the time from that last sermon, the thing inside of us has grown. All the gifts. Listen, time waits for nobody. You get pregnant with this stuff and get your mind out the gutter. We're not talking about that pregnant, okay? You get pregnant with this thing, this gift that God has given you. You think time is waiting for you to develop that gift? When it's time to give it out, however that baby is, you better let's go with it. And just like a pregnancy has trimesters, we as a church have gone through some trimesters. And now it's time to prepare for a new season. We are going on year five. One thing about pregnancies, you can have as many of them as you wish. Mac like, "Mm -hmm." get your mind out together. Um, So now it's time for us to prepare for our new season and that we embrace all the changes that come along with it. So Luke chapter 5, verses 37, I'm going to use the New Living Translation. And no one, this is how we know new things are coming. No one puts new wine into old wine skins. For the new wine bursts the old skins, ruining the skins and spilling the wine. Basically, we, what we have been doing, my friends here, no longer works. And as the saying goes, out with the old. I'm, okay, let me see if they, I don't know if they're coming today. Out with the old. Oh, they came. I didn't know. I didn't see y'all. I couldn't, the lights were so bright. I couldn't see. So today, I'm talking about an individual and collective birth. Each one of you had to do your own work. And we're going to talk about the church, the, the building of TG. You had to do your own individual work to get here. Everybody had to do your own work. Now we have to take everybody's work collectively and birth this thing out. We got to birth this thing out. We, you see, we have a gift. We are all doing individual work so that we could grow and be a collective, check this out, a collective gift to humanity. When you birth something, it's a gift. We are the gift to humanity. Transform generation is the gift. You see, what TG needed was you. Was you. TG needed you. That's what we needed. A seed was planted inside of you by God in heaven. And in this new season, it is time to prepare for the birth or to prepare for the gifts that God has placed inside of us. Everybody's getting this? Okay, not only were you expecting... But heaven is expecting too. Deandra, clap. Not only are you expecting, but heaven's expecting it too. Guess what it says? On heaven as it is, as it is in heaven. Say it again. On earth, that's what I messed up at, Melissa. Thank you. And wrote on earth, on heaven. On earth. As it is in, good, the time has come for us to birth this thing out. And I don't need you to look at your pain. TG, we're going through a little pain. I don't know why. It's dry. We're going through a little something, something. I don't know what it is, but we're about to birth this thing because it don't matter. It's coming. We don't have a choice. And the pain that you're feeling is going to come. But I'm here to tell you to breathe and push it out. Breathe, 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 breathe. Push it out. I'm here to tell you, once this thing come out, baby, there will be no more pain but joy. Let's take a look at John chapter 16, verses 21, the NIV version. A woman 
giving birth to a child has pain because her time has come. But sugar, when her baby is born, she forgets the anguish because of her joy that a child is born into the world. Once we get out of this final stage, we all, not only us, the world will experience the joy that we birthed into the world. You made it. Today, my name is Pastor Thumbelina Newsom. I need some gloves. I will be your midwife. We're going to get this thing out of here today. We, I will be your midwife, and I'm here to coach you through this birthing process. Not only have I been equipped by the Most High God, but I've had a few of these deliveries myself. Not only that, I've also helped people through their coaching process, through their birthing process. I've coached them through their birthing process. And today, we are ready. Y'all ready? Y'all feeling the pain? I'm feeling it. My life is dedicated to this cause, so when I leave earth, please know I can't take anything to heaven with me but people. Thank you for being here. I can't take nothing to heaven with me but people. Majority of us have been carrying this thing around for a while, and the time has come to release it. Now, as you know, I'm talking about what? I'm, I'm a, huh? The birth of who? Y'all missing it. I came because I got to make sure it's clear. I'm talking about the birth of transformed generation. Melissa said, oh. <laughs> because transformed generation is the gift. Are we getting this? I'm talking about us as a whole. As a Mac, I'm slow. It's go I'm doing it. I'm doing it. He like, you getting it. Does this make sense to you, Shay? Hurry up. <laughs> I'm talking about the church. Melissa said, oh, I thought you was talking about the gift. The TG is the gift that's going to be given to the world. This baby is coming whether you're ready or not, and nobody could stop it. So I believe our church, as painful as it is, as, as, as small as we think or as big as we think this church is, we are now full term. Five years have passed. We've been carrying this thing for five years. L listen, we only supposed to have nine months. Now, you know this baby is fat. You know this baby is ready. This baby probably got teeth when it come out of here. And this baby might be like, hey, y'all, when it come out, just start talking. But we, it is time, and now it's time for us to share this gift of TG with the world. So y'all get my analogies with the church, your gifts, you individually. Everybody get it? Okay. So we're going to... Who clapping? Thank you, Angelique. Matthew 5 and 16, the King James Version. The reason why it's time for us to release this baby is because the Bible says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That's who impregnated us. He's the Father. That's the baby's daddy. Remember I said on earth as it is in heaven on earth as it is in heaven. Like I said, when you are pregnant with a gift, heaven is pregnant too. We remember the story of Elkanah in 1 Samuel about him having two wives, Hannah and Peninnah. Y'all remember the story? I told you, if you don't, take a look at 1 Samuel and read that. Elkanah had two wives. One would, could have babies and one was barren. Y'all remember the story? One of them had a whole bunch of kids and the other one could have none. So Peninnah, who had the kids, was teasing the other chick. It's a good story. It's a dope story. You got to read it. She was teasing the other chick about having a baby. You can't have no baby. Almost to the point the girl got so sick she couldn't even eat. It caused her so much pain. Read the Bible. It's so good. We're not going to get into it today. She was barren. She was brokenhearted, and this lady would tease her. She cried and decided to pray to the Lord. Let's take a look at 1 Samuel 1, 10 through 11. I hope y'all following after all this teasing she going through, it says, in her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. And she made a vow saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I'm telling you, I promise you, I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life. 
and no razor will ever be used on his head. Now we're going to skip down to verse 20. It says, 1 Samuel, I forgot to put number 20 up the top. So in the course of time, TG, in the course of time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, because I asked the Lord for him. TG, we have asked the Lord for our individual gifts, right? God, where am I supposed to be in the church? What am I supposed to be doing? Now, you not got the job. I don't know what you did on the job, whether you mastered it or not. But now, it's time for all of us to take the job and collectively send this gift out into the world. Y'all catching this? On earth, as it is in heaven. See, look, at Hannah, she was barren, and she was praying for, to God for a son, and God heard her and granted it. Now with TG, we're praying for our gifts to be used in the church, and after all this time, the Lord has finally heard us. So when Hannah was pregnant with a son, heaven was pregnant with a prophet. waiting on you too. He's waiting on his church too. When she was pregnant with a son, baby, heaven was pregnant with a prophet and couldn't wait on, he- on earth as it is in heaven. The earth saw Samuel, but the heaven saw a prophet that was going to do God's work here on earth. The time came to birth that baby. Now imagine Hannah is crying on earth. Her tears indicated that Water was broken in. Catch it. Y'all catching this? She was crying in pain, the water from her tears. But what, what was going on in heaven was the water broke. Water is the indication that the baby's ready. It's supposed to help ease the baby's birth during the, during, uh, from the canal, during the birthing canal. Y'all catching this? On earth as it is in heaven. The water is to help lubricate the canal to make the birth easy. TG, we are in a pickle. We look at the, what did we have, the meeting the other day? Everything is blah. Uh, Tired of this church. Uh, Everything is bad. We've been doing all this crying. I'm here to tell you it's time to prepare for the birth. Time to stop complaining and whining and being negative, y'all. It's time to push. We got to push. We come too far. The baby's coming. Push the baby out. TG, the baby is coming. It has to come forward. We done sat in the womb long enough. We ain't going to have no issues when we get out there. When we come out of this womb, we're not going to have any issues. We have all done our jobs. We have all been through it. Now that we are full term and ready to come out to the world, we are in our last stages. And let me tell y'all something. Men, you don't know it, but you probably do because we got on y'all nerves. In the final stages of birth, it is annoying. Y'all ever, at the last stage, it's, you're fat. You, everybody aggravates you. Every, think about TG. We're in our final stages. Everything aggravates you. The pastor get on my nerve. The sound of her voice, she's screaming. She aggravates me. Because you big. I, I pushed my stomach out. It sticks out already. <laughs> at the end of the stages, it is so annoying at the end. You can't sleep. You can't sit right. You get this quietness. The husband don't even want to talk to him, talk to you because you done annoyed him too. You're moving back and forth. Everything gets on your nerve. And God forbid you had other kids. They getting on your last nerve. Everything is a problem. You are frustrated and aggravated. But don't confuse thinking your contraction is a demonic attack. Everything ain't demonic. I just said that. Sometimes it's a pain to tell you that the baby is ready to come. It is called heaven's contraction on earth. The pain that you're feeling that we're going through right here as a church, it's a contraction. It's time to birth. And I'm the big one. I'm here to tell you, it's time for the birth. We got to get this. in my gloves. We got to get this baby out of here. Do y'all see what's happening in this church? What God is doing? Don't sleep. Don't, don't, don't. I'm just here to tell you, it's time. It's time to push. It ain't time to cry. It ain't time for that. 
When you're crying from the pain, that's the water breaking in heaven, sugar. The God in heaven knows that the baby is coming and the heavens are rooting for TG. The heavens is rooting for this baby to come out. Oh, they're rooting for us because they know the world needs a transformation. Woo! It's ready, God. We cut. I'm getting them out. Gloves on God. I'm gonna try to get it out. I'm gonna get it out. Get it out. I'm so excited. Heaven knows that transform generation is a big deal. It's a big deal. He knew it since the beginning of time. Before he formed us, he knew us. Woo! He knew who was going to be the secretary. <laughs> he knew it. He knew who was going to be the pastor's advocate. He knew it. Before he formed us, he knew it. Guess what? He even knew who the assistant pastor was. Woo! He knew who the musicians were. He knew who the praise was. Before he formed us, he knew us. I'm excited. He knew the message that was going to come today. God, I got my gloves on. Y'all get ready to push. Get ready to push. Stop crying and whining and being negative. Stop listening to the enemy. We at the end. It's time to push. Life is your gift from God. What you do with it is your gift back to him. I'm done. I hope y'all understand. It is time for this baby to come out. No more crying about it. No more complaining about it. No more she didn't do her job. No more he ain't show up. Who cares? Push, 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 push. We are at the end of this thing here. We are at the end of our journey. Our light's supposed to shine before men. They are waiting on us. Heaven is rooting for us. Look, Joker, we got angels rooting for us. Ready to come down. In my conclusion, we come too far to give up. Now's the time to push, not to be annoyed. Not to be annoyed at your brothers and sisters who haven't done their job. Forget about them. Push! I'm here to coach you do this thing. I got my gloves on. Heaven's rooting for us. And the angels are on deck. The angels is in the room. I'm the coach. God's the doctor. Right? Just in case something goes wrong. But he trusts the midwife. She got this. She got this. He's already did what he's supposed to do. The heavens are ready for the wet diapers. They can't wait for this baby to get here. They know the baby got pee and poop. The heavens are waiting to change the diapers. Heaven is waiting to stay up with us in the middle of the night. Somebody stand up and get what, what I'm telling you. Heaven is ready to stay up all night. Heaven is ready to assist you as your baby grows. He's ready for TG. Not only that, don't worry. The heavens will be right there when we take our first step. Heaven going to be right there. I remember watching Brittany's journey. I'm watching her journey every day. And I'm like, God, let me tell you something. It's okay. It's okay. Let me tell you something. Watching Brittany's journey is like a mama watching a child do like this. That's how I look like watching Brittany. But in your heart, you know that kid right there? That kid about to take off running. I know it. This baby about to take off running. Brittany, you haven't seen blessings. You don't, you don't even know what a blessing that he's got for you is so big. Your brain... Your intelligent brain can't even fathom it. Just, baby, just say yes. And no matter what, push, 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 push. The baby got to come. Heaven is excited for all the graduations that's coming from this church. <laughs> Heaven is excited. Lord have mercy. Heaven can't wait to see the amount of lives that will be impacted from the gift of transform generation. Clap it up. Are y'all, can somebody please turn this Michael Jackson light off? Jeez, it's killing me. Does that, it's simple. You can stand on your feet. We're done. Now let me give you a quiz. What's the name of my topic? Thank you, Melissa, for joining this church. Whose birth is it? Who's the midwife? Who's rooting for us? Y'all get, I didn't know y'all came in today. I, I didn't see y'all when I started, but I, I didn't know. I didn't know. It's time to birth this thing out. 
I don't care how heavy you felt coming in here. It's always heavy at the end. It's always annoying at the end of the birth. But baby, when this baby get here, the world will be filled with joy. And so will you. I'm going to be walking around looking at Anita like, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. And guess who else is going to be behind me? The angels are going to be behind me saying, Anita, you did it. Y'all did it. You push. You push. Stop crying and push. Woo! Push through your pain. God's purpose is greater than your pain. Push through it. The pain is only for a little bit. But the reward, no risk, no reward. Listen, the time has come for us to birth this baby out. Every gift that you have inside of you, stop sitting on it. Stop. I, can I tell you what I hate? Ooh, it grinds my gears. I hate talkers. I'm a person that walking like I talk it. What? Walking like I talk it. Hey, you better walk this thing like you talking. I t what I tell you, one thing about me, you see what you get. Stephanie, you can't do nothing with the concert lights, huh? Stephanie, these lights, ten, only... Look, it's okay. Listen, all the gifts that you have inside of you, stop talking about it. Do it. You want to write a book? Write it. You can't afford to pay for it? E-book it until you can afford it. Do something. You know how many books and movies are in? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. They press every button. And ain't none of them it. And Michael Jackson is still on the scene. My God. <laughs> it is hot. So um, that's it. All I have to tell our TG family is let's go get them. Let's go get them. If you've been sitting and watching, you better start waiting and working. You better thank you, Stephanie, for turning all the lights off in the building. You have been amazing. That's okay, leave it. You done cooled down the whole church. Thank you for your time. But I'm telling y'all, did y'all get this message? And it's not just for TG, it's for you, individual as well. You have a gift inside of you, use it. Don't keep saying, I'm going to start my business in 2025. How about 2024? Because you might not make it to 2025. Stop. Stop doing this. And do this. Work. Work. Work, work, work. Stop complaining. Stop looking at you. One of, the, one of the reasons why other people can't work, you know why? Because they're looking at somebody else on the side who's actually doing the work. One lady, I used to work in corporate America. She said, I don't see how they gave Pam a raise. I know why Pam got a raise because Pam was minding her business and Pam was doing her work. She was like, Pam takes so many, she takes about six smoke breaks a day. How you know how many breaks she took? Oh, because you wasn't doing your work. Pam was going out there to take a cigarette, cigarette break because she was working and she was stressed out. <laughs> Tamika, come on. She was stressed out. But you're not going to do your work if you're looking at everybody else. And whatever, as collectively as a whole, whatever somebody else don't do, get up and do it. I got it. You ain't going, I won't be there to do it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I got it. Teamwork make the dream work. Teamwork, make the dream work. TG, God, I got my gloves on. Let's go. Let's get ready. And when I count to three, you better push it. Don't you cry. One, two, three. Push, 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 push. Get this baby out of here. I know it's going to hurt because we've been in that room for a long time. This is a big, fat baby. This baby a little overweight. Don't be feeding no cereal and all that. Give him a little breast milk. We thank God for this. I hope you enjoyed the message. I hope you understand what I was talking about, about preparing for the birth. It's time to go. No more looking at nobody else. No more sitting in a depressed state. I don't know why I feel like that. I don't feel like that no more. Talk to yourself. Change your mind. You have the power to change your own goddamn mind. Change your mind. I ain't sitting like, I ain't sitting like this no more today. Everything I told you last week starts and begins with a decision. Make a decision. You going on a trip or not? DJ Khaled said it best. You either win with us or you watch us win. Because, baby, we're going to win. We're going to win. Thank you, God. Father God in heaven, we thank you for preparing us for the birth. 
We thank you for this beautiful baby, this beautiful baby of all shades and colors, oh God. We thank you that you sent this baby here to earth with wisdom from the womb. Thank you for that. Thank you for the relationships that are built, being built through this gift that you are giving to the world, oh God. Use us and let our light so shine before men. But most of all, I'm asking, since we got heaven and the angels rooting for us, please dispatch angels around all of us here while we are being sent out into the world. God, cover this baby. Cover this church. God, I'm asking you, I put this on paper before the church even started. Don't let there be no mess and no drama in our church. We come against it right now. God, we come and we want to see happy families. We want singles to be married. We want marriages, oh God, that are highly communicated. Everything works for them. That finances come through each and every individual through this gift that you call transform generation. God, anything or anyone that does not belong here, we ask you to remove them if they come in to bring any drama. We ask that you remove it. We ask that you cover this baby around all of us, oh God. Help us all to do our individual work so that when we work collectively, God, you will be glorified and the heavens will rejoice of this baby you sent here to earth called Transform Generation. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen.